कोर्ट्स है उससे जो लूप होल्स पीछे जो रह जाते हैं वो आपको उसमें फिल जो है उससे होता है सो आई हैव हैड द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू बी ट्रेन बाय जजेस इन इंग्लैंड एंड वेल्स ऑन क्रॉस एग्जामिनेशन एंड अदर थिंग्स आई हैव हैड द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू नॉट ओनली क्रॉस एग्जामिन और प्रैक्टिस इन पाकिस्तान बट ऑल्सो इन ट्राइब्यूनल्स before uh, england in some, at times uh, in a case in turkey uh this has i think uh, made me constantly learn about the art of uh, advocacy the art of uh, litigation and i like to in my humble way try and explain to you what i think are extremely important for you जब आप इस चीज को ग्रास कर लेंगे फिर मुझे लगता है कि आपके पास कोई भी स्टेटमेंट किसी का भी बयान आए चाहे वो सिविल में है या वो क्रिमिनल में है आप लोगों के लिए आई थिंक इट शुड बी यू नो इजी टू एसरटेन कि हमने आगे क्या करना है एक और चीज ये जरूर करूंगी कि कंसिडरिंग हम क्रॉस uh, एग्जामिनेशन के ऊपर काम कर रहे हैं प्रैक्टिस uh, अब प्रैक्टिस कैसे करनी है एक रिकॉर्डेड स्टेटमेंट आप उसको लेके उसमें आप एग्जामिनेशन इन चीफ के क्वेश्चंस बनाए क्रॉस एग्जामिनेशन के क्वेश्चन बनाए एक कोलीग को कह दें कि वो विटनेस बन जाए और आप जो है अपने सवाल करें व्हाई डू यू थिंक दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज हमारी रिकॉर्डेड होती थी वॉट दे यूज टू डू इज दे यूज टू रिकॉर्ड अस बात करने का तरीका बॉडी लैंग्वेज यहाँ पे तुम इधर तुम्हारे शोल्डर स्लाउच कर रहे थे इधर यू तुम्हारी शक्ल पे लिखा था कि यू आर इंटिमिडेटेड यू आर फीलिंग इंटिमिडेटेड सो ये सारी चीजें जो है विद प्रैक्टिस इट हेल्प्स यू सो नाउ दैट यू आर गोइंग टू गेट इन टू अ न्यू फेज ऑफ इनशाला ऑफ योर प्रोफेशनल लाइफ आई विल दिस इज वन थिंग दैट आई लाइक टू सजेस्ट बिफोर आई मूव ऑन सो कानून शहादत आपका जो लॉ ऑफ एविडेंस है दैट डील्स विद हाउ यू गोइंग टू क्वेश्चन सो द मेन पार्ट ऑफ अ केस इज वेन द एविडेंस इज गोइंग टू बी एड्यूस्ड सो आपका जो लॉ है दैट इज रेगुलेटिंग दैट इज कानून शहादत नाइनटीन एटी फोर आई एम श्योर यू आर ऑल वेल अवेयर ऑफ दैट Uh, before I move on to cross examination, I think it is extremely important के मैं examination in chief जो है उसको थोड़ा सा I will like to touch upon that before I move on to cross examination. Examination in chief उसका title है आपका chapter टेन examination of witness article वन थर्टी टू इज टाइटल एग्जामिनेशन इन चीफ एक्सेट्रा एग्जामिनेशन इन चीफ क्या है एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ अ विटनेस बाय अ पार्टी हु calls it so it is going to be my witness and i will be cross examining oh uh, sorry giving examination in chief uh, on that so jisko aap apni hamari language mein kya kehte hain i think bayan record karana jo hota hai wo hota hai to usme kya aapka purpose hai mera ye purpose hai ki mere client ka ya jo mera case hai wo to the best of uh, you know my ability wo adalat mein record The other thing जो जिसके ऊपर हम आज कर रहे हैं which is article 132 subsection आपका part टू कहता है examination of a witness by the adverse party shall be called cross examination. This is what is the base, the backbone where they are going to allow you to cross examine. Uh, so it is article 132. Now, uh, three जो है वो री एग्जामिनेशन की बात होती है आपने एक दफा क्रॉस एग्जामिनेशन कर लिया दे आर सर्टन थिंग्स जिसपे आपका जो दूसरी पार्टी है दे वॉन्ट टू री एग्जामिन देर ओन क्लाइंट कोई नए उसमें फैक्ट्स आ गए फॉर इंस विच आई विल नाउ गिव एग्जाम्पल्स लेटर ऑन सो री एग्जामिनेशन इज डिस्कस दर नाउ आपका जो सेकेंड आर्टिकल है which is article 133 that is talking about the order of examination it tells you ke as a lawyer kisne pehle question puchne hai kisne pehle baat karni hai to 
पहला कहता है विटनेस शेल बी एग्जामिन इन चीफ देन इफ इट एडवर्स पार्टी सो डिजायर क्रॉस एग्जामिन देन इफ द पार्टी हु कॉल्स हिम वापिस जिसने एग्जामिनेशन इन चीफ किया था इफ दे फील लाइक इट दे विल डू वॉट री एग्जामिनेशन सो दे आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चनिंग वेन यू आर गोइंग टू गो फॉर एविडेंस नंबर वन एग्जामिनेशन इन चीफ वो आप करते हैं अपने विटनेस के नंबर टू दूसरी पार्टी आके जो आपने बयान रिकॉर्ड किया है उसके ऊपर सवाल करेगी और इट वुड बी अदर थिंग्स एज वेल उसको कहते हैं क्रॉस एग्जामिनेशन एंड वंस क्रॉस एग्जामिनेशन हैज बिन डन द थर्ड पार्ट इज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू री एग्जामिन री आस्क इट क्वेश्चन यू कैन डू दैट सो ये हो गया आपका आर्टिकल वन थर्टी थ्री ऑफ कानून शहादत ना एम ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन इन चीफ क्यों करते हैं एग्जामिनेशन हम आपका केस सिर्फ केस ड्राफ्ट करने से और फाइल करने से आप कभी केस नहीं जीत सकते इसी तरीके से आप केस जो फाइल हुआ है उसका जवाब देने से यू कैन नेवर विन दैट केस द एंटायर विनिंग एंड लूजिंग इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग द आर्ट ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन इन चीफ आई एम एबल टू आस्क सच क्वेश्चन टू माई क्लाइंट और टू द विटनेस जिससे हमारा इतना एक सॉलिड केस सामने आ गया कि इवन द जज नोज के भाई फैंटेस्टिक हमने इसमें एविडेंस इंट्रोड्यूस किया सो एग्जामिनेशन इन चीफ का जो मेन एम है वो ये है टू एस्टैब्लिश दैट पार्ट ऑफ योर केस द विटनेस कैन कमेंट ऑन थ्रू द क्वेश्चन सो यू आर इजीली आस्किंग इन क्वेश्चन जहां से वो आपका अपना जो केस है वो स्टेट कर सके टू एस्टैब्लिश द एविडेंस इन अ वे दैट इज क्लियर it cannot be uh, complicated that's another thing do not over complicate your questions make them simple so the answers are simple and to the point and precise memorable because he should be able to again jab uski cross examination hogi dusri party se usko pata ho usko yaad ho ki bhai maine kya kaha tha and lastly persuasive it have you have to persuade the judge at the end of the day you are only there on behalf of your client what is going to matter is these statements these witness statements that will come through these questioning techniques um the uh, c kehta hai to protect the witness in so far as possible attack from the cross examination because i know the next is the other party and they are going to question so that's what it is um move on now टेक्निक क्या है एग्जामिनेशन इन चीफ ना ये बड़ी सिंपल चीज है मगर इसको याद रख लो बिकॉज प्रैक्टिस में जो नजर आता है सिविल कोड्स आप देख लें यहाँ पे बड़ी दफा आपका क्रिमिनल साइड इज वेल ये टेक्निक आई डोंट नो व्हाई पीपल फगेट दिस वो वाइल देर डूइंग एग्जामिनेशन इन चीफ वो वहां पे क्रॉस एग्जामिनेशन के सवाल पूछते तो अगर आपने समझना है एग्जामिनेशन इन चीफ को यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड इट इज मेड अप ऑफ क्वेश्चन दैट डू नॉट सजेस्ट दी आंसर नाउ वट दे टीच एस एज वेल एज वेल एज की एग्जामिनेशन इन चीफ इज दी एबिलिटी टू टेस्ट दी मेमरी ऑफ द विटनेस अनदर थिंग दैट आई वुड सजेस्ट डू नॉट प्रिपेयर योर विटनेस कि मैं पहले कहूंगा वेर वे यू बॉन्ट तो वो कहेगा इस तरीके से और मैं ये जो प्रिपेयरिंग ऑफ द विटनेस है which is somehow there in practice i disagree with it i think it is illegal it should not be carried out and i would discourage it for for the new lot tell obviously instructions le le usne jo kaha hai par uske baad let them give their version at times while you are asking questions in examination in chief your client is standing there he has said ke bhai raat ko at 10 pm i saw a man in red jacket and he was firing at the victim i saw him i'm really sure aapne kaha chalo bhai examination in chief ke time pe jab wo apni statement de rahe kehte hain ke it was at in fact 10 o'clock in the morning the entire question or the entire statement has changed So, अगर आप ऑलरेडी प्रिपेयर करके गए हुए और आपने ये सवाल लिखे हुए और अगर आपको ये नहीं पता 
माइंड ऑफ अ लॉयर इज एक्सट्रीमली ब्रिलियंट आई थिंक इंस्टेंट और जो आर्ट ऑफ एडवोकेसी है वो यही है कि उसी वक्त एज पर द सिचुएशन आप उसी वक्त सवाल बनाए और उसे और रिड्यूस करें इंफॉर्मेशन और एविडेंस सो examination in chief like we have already said this is how you going to you know uh, ask questions can how what why where who when please describe you give a free or a, a field for your client or for the witness in fact that's the right term in order to use to say his version of events so you are giving them that opportunity to speak to speak their heart out of what actually happened what they were feeling how it happened what who else was there whatever they want to say this is examination in chief leading questions jo hum abhi karenge ki leading kya hai the word leading means you are leading them on you are telling them what to say leading questions in examination in chief can be asked if they are not disputed so if it is not disputed that mr salman was born in 1985 then instead of asking him that when were you born i will and he says oh i was born at my dadi's house in karachi and you know it was raining that day and he's spending that much time explaining when he was born and then coming to a point that han ji i think it was 1985 it is not disputed 1980 uske id card pe likha then you bring in the leading question and he say you were born in 1985 ye hai yes then the other party is not going to object so this is your examination in chief ki technique when where when how leading only when the matter is not disputed cross examination dekh lete hain cross examination is uh, like we read when the adverse party is going to now question your uh, uh, the the plaintiff the claimant purpose uh, of cross examination se pehle i would say ke aap kabhi bhi cross examination ya examination in chief in fact specifically cross examination nahi kar sakte if you do not know your file if you have not read the file the uh, usme kya unka statements aayi hain kya us pe law hai there is no possible way that you can actually do a cross exam it should be like the back of your hand itna rigorous preparation honi chahiye ki aapko bas har ek point har ek fact batao uski chronology batao ki bhai pehle usne ye baat ki uske baad usse kaha ki main subah 10 बजे नाश्ता कर से करके घर से निकला गाड़ी में था तो मुझे यू you नो know, फिर मैं दफ्तर पहुंचा दफ्तर में 10 बज के पंद्रह मिनट में पहुंचा यू नो यू हैव टू नो ईच एंड एवरी फैक्ट ऑफ द एग्जामिनेशन इन चीफ की एक तो बेटर स्टेटमेंट जो आपकी आती है बयान प्लस यू शुड नो द एंटायर केस एंड ऑफकोर्स द लॉ दी एप्लीकेबल लॉ इज ऑल्सो समथिंग दैट यू शुड बी अवेयर सो examination in chief ki pehli cheez that i'll say read the file know it inside out purpose of uh, cross examination kya hai purpose bada uh, interesting hai it is i think the best part which is my job as a lawyer i think the the entire aapki legal aapka legal profession mein jo main cheez hai case file kar liya यू नो रिटर्न स्टेटमेंट्स आपने जवाब उसका दे दिया एप्लीकेशन डाल दी चलो स्टे ऑर्डर भी ले लिया आई एम जस्ट गिविंग एन एग्जांपल कि मेन जो उसका आता है ना वो आता है क्रॉस एग्जामिनेशन एंड इफ वी डू द क्रॉस एग्जामिनेशन प्रॉपरली यू कैन विन द केस एंड दिस इज समथिंग दैट आई माइट हैव रिटर्न आगे इट्स नॉट इन अ बुक दैट समथिंग दैट द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ योर क्वेश्चन will lead you to win the case if you are able to have a grasp over a questioning technique of cross examination it's not that difficult i don't need to give you uh, judgments or uh, make it very difficult for you magar ye hai ki practice practice hear yourself record watch your body language 
So, purpose of cross-examination is to test the evidence of a witness to what expose weakness of where they exist. So, first is to test, to expose what weaknesses, inconsistencies in what he is saying. And if so, to undermine the account of the, what the witness has given. Cross-examination mein kehta hai, mein Islamabad mein tha. Aapka client kehta hai, Islamabad mein nahi tha. Wo to actually daftar mein tha. And you have attained what, uh, sorry, examination in chief mein kehta hai, kehta hai, he was in Islamabad. But with you, through your client, you have got another addition fact, he was not in Islamabad, he was actually here. But wo jis petal station pe gaya tha, maa pe aapne uski CCTV footage ke liye. You are going to do what? You are going to test what he said, then you are going to expose, and then you are going to undermine the other party's case. This is what I have to do in cross-examination. So, this includes testing the reliability of their evidence or credibility as it advance your own. This, I cannot say my case until unless I don't have that technique while I am asking him questions, mera jo case hai, wo samne nazar aar. The judge will be able or has to, it is, this is the power of cross-examination. With the, the questions only, with the questions, I am bringing in the version of my client, the version of the defense. Or, you know, obviously, uh, prosecution. So, it watches, abhi, at this point that I like to, you know, uh, talk about is Article 134. Article 134 of Kanuni Shahadat says cross examination of a person called to produce a document. So at times the judge will give a direction while he's listening to the case that maybe a document is required. So a person summoned to produce a document does not become a witness by a mere fact that he produces it, cannot be cross-examined unless he is called as a witness. So he comes in, he calls a doctor in, he says that you have the medical diagnosis or treatment, you have a report based in it. He comes in the And you, the other party, at that stage get all, you know, frazzled or all uh, you know, disruptive in the sense that who is this now new individual given? Why be I? If you question, kar lete aur aapki awaaz ka pitch high ho jata hai ke bhai, oh, why is he here? Maine aapko cross or jo aise hota hai. If you do not understand the law, you will also not understand the procedure that you need to follow in court. And what happens is you get upset. Your anxiety is there. You see an individual who is coming up. You do not understand it's just a report. It could be in your favor or the other party's favor. So, if you understand Article 137, then what are you going to do? You are going to then obviously ask or why application, get him to come as a witness and then cross examine him if you want. The judge has the absolute authority to call whichever document he wants to via any other person. So, that is Article 137, which I hope that you remember for your practice as well. Um, article 134, sorry, Article 135 has witness to character. Witness to character, kya hai? Witness to character may be cross examined and re examined. Ye hai Article 135. Kya hai? Evidence to character of an accused is relevant to show whether the accused is the kind of individual would be likely to have committed the crime with which he is charged. He is my neighbor. I have known him for 10 years. I have known his family for 10 years. I do not find him of the sort to commit such a heinous crime. Or I, she is my friend. I have known her, or her family all my life. So this is character witness. Bad character or uh, continuity of being of, of bad character, that is normally not allowed or not reduced because that will obviously affect the entire case. But uh, character, witness to character is uh, under Article 135. Questioning techniques. Best way to control a witness and to communicate your case to the court is to ask 
leading questions. I am going to now lead you to whether say yes or no. आप सैटरडे को पांच बजे के करीब पेट्रोल स्टेशन गए थे। हाँ या ना? ये नहीं कि पांच बजे आप किधर गए थे? वो नॉन लीडिंग सॉरी वो लीडिंग नहीं हो। सो Formation of your questions will get you your results. This is what uh, I said earlier as well. So non-leading kya hai? Ab main one padungi. Non-leading kya hai? What was the lightning like? I've given them the free hand to say it was a bit dark. It was a bit, you know, light. There was a bit light. I think it was something in the middle. But at times it would be too, you know, uh, too bright. You're giving them a fair players to buy job online bolo ye honge non leading questions you're not leading here but if you're going to ask him isn't it right that the lighting conditions were not good i have given him what i want him to answer isn't it right that the lighting is not good is what it is leading question he will say yes and no that's fine but you are bring me building your case sir it was 6 o'clock in the, what time is maghrib that you know The, then you can, you know, isn't it true that Maghrib is around that same time? So during Maghrib, this means the sun is down. So something on those lines, you bring him to say yes to your uh, questions. Then you have statements. Statements are there. You can use statements, uh, but they're not really encouraged. At least in England and Wales, they don't really encourage you in cross examination to use statements too much. But if, like I've said, कि कोई इतनी कोई वो बात नहीं है और आपने उसे reduce करवानी है evidence का आप कर सकते हैं, the lightning was poor, ठीक है. Next पे चले जाते हैं. What was the quality of your view? The quality of my view was fantastic. I could see miles and miles away. I had supersonic eyes. I could see left, right, center. I, in fact, I could see 10 million people directly. So he is now building his case in your cross examination. Why? Because you asked sir. Non-leading was I was uh, you know uh, the quality of your view. अगर आप non-leading question बोलेंगे आप करेंगे it was crowded at the scene wasn't it? No, not many people. I think maybe maybe is good enough. The judge is listening. You see, so maybe is good enough for you. Please elaborate. What is maybe? Maybe is you can either say yes or no. So this is how you're going to do for leading question. The scene was crowded. He again he could say yes or no. Non-leading. Tisra, how sure are you that you have identified the right person? I am hundred percent sure. It is him. My 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 mother says it's him. My father says it's him. My co-worker say everybody is there. In fact, I tell you, okay, you are now again. Why non-leading? Leading. Surely it is possible you have made a mistake. What be possible? Yeah, we will go. Yes, yeah, no. Go for a mus pe. Aage. You wear glasses. What is the number of your glasses? What, what? You know, this is how you're going to get the. Were you wearing glasses? I, you were not wearing glasses there. You see, in the audience is saying, were you wearing? You're going to say, you weren't wearing your glasses. Sometimes you have visionary issue because if you don't. So this is how you're going to build on your. Uh, Cross examination. It is perfectly possible that you are mistaken. Again, it's a statement. Does not bring in much. I think personally, there's a lot of drama. If you know that you can, you know, get to the understanding of what the question is and say it in a way, the chances are really high you are able to get what you want from the witness. But if you're just slouching and you're just saying, "Oh, scene was crowded." In that tone, scene was crowded. Then you be like, "Who are you? You know? No, it wasn't. Move on to the next. You've just lost that ability of saying something in a much more, you know, impactful manner. It was crowded at the scene, wasn't it? So now I, I have that authority where I'm saying that I also, you know, and he's more bound to listen to me and say maybe or yes or no." Then me just asking it was crowded, so that is 
you in your best performance uh, for cross examination. Proposition they say the very choti si banai hai because I do understand we are constricting in this subject is so uh, wide. But within an hour, what I could do, Mr. Rumar has been charged with the offense of assault. He admits stabbing the plaintiff, but he says he did so in self-defense. Prosecution is cross-examining the defendant, and I, one thing, this is the first time the prosecutor is cross-examining. Okay, so this is his first time ever, hypothetically. Uh, Mr. Mushtaq, the plaintiff denies the allegation. He says he did not even try to do anything. No mention of self-defense is the initial statement given to the police to the uh, to the by the defendant. अगर मैं a prosecutor आता है prosecutor ऐसे सवाल पूछ रहा है. What happened at the office? Mushtaq assaulted me. He stabbed me in self-defense. I was it was shocking and distressing. Everybody was screaming and shouting. You don't know it was really terrible. Why did he assault you? Because he's jealous of my work. He's always been. I recently got promotion. His friends tell me he wanted to kill me. I thought he was going to kill me. Are you sure he wanted to assault you? I'm hundred percent sure it was Mr. Mushtaq. He's an extremely vile, aggressive man. All employees are scared of him. He once even threatened a female employee consequences if she complained about him to the line manager. Now, what is wrong with this? Anyone? I have given anyone. I want all. Take it. So these are all non-leading. Fair day to him. Say whatever. In fact, अब उसने क्या किया? उसने अपना केस और बेहतर कर दिए. Why? Because he said एक और लड़की है. उसको उसने मना किया था. उसको threaten कर रहा था. Judge सुन रहे हैं. Keep in mind जो हम अब आगे करेंगे. अगर leading question examination in chief में पूछ रहे हो और अगर आप ऑब्जेक्ट ना करें तो वो पूछेंगे और वो पूछते हैं इट इज योर नॉलेज ऑफ द लॉ एंड योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग व्हेन यू से ऑब्जेक्शन लीडिंग क्वेश्चन यू नो दैट्स ऑल आल्सो समथिंग दैट यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड सो प्रॉब्लम विद द क्वेश्चन क्या था कुड नॉट कंट्रोल द विटनेस विटनेस वाज ऑल ओवर उसने डिस्ट्रेसिंग एग्रेसिव ऐसे अल्फाज इस्तेमाल किए टू मेक योर केस फर्दर वीकर allowed the witness to damage the prosecution case allowed the witness the opportunity to advance his case in fact he added more by like i've said that women's uh, instance worst thing he did which is the basis of cross examination he did not put his case so he was unable to put the case all because he could not or he did not ask leading questions you were not able to control the witness you did not ask leading question and this is why it has gone wrong absolutely wrong okay put in your case i use the word or terminology put in your case kya hai aapka cross examination ka जिसमें मेरे क्लाइंट जो डिफेंडेंट है उसकी पूरी की पूरी जो वर्जन है उन सवालों में आ जाए दैट इज कॉल्ड पुटिंग द केस सो व्हाट इट इज इट इज टू टेस्ट द विटनेस एविडेंस बाय पुटिंग योर केस ऑपरचुनिटी टू रिस्पॉन्ड टू योर क्लाइंट्स केस आइदर एग्री और डिसएग्री योर क्लाइंट सेज लाइक आई हैव सेड ही वाज नॉट इवन यू नो इन इस्लामाबाद ही वाज इन फैक्ट नो यू वर इन फैक्ट इन नो और मिस्टर यू नो सलमान वांट यू no i wasn't yes he most probably is going to say no it's fine ye nahi hai ki wo no kahega to ji main pareshan ho ke baith jaunga to wo yes to usse kehne hi nahi hai so he's going to say no then you going to obviously adduce evidence or bring that cctv footage if it is allowed show this before the court 
Now, it also means that by the end of the course examination, it will be clear from the question what your case is. Failure by an advocate to put the case on a point of dispute. Now, this is very important. I want you to understand this. Failure by an advocate to put the case on a point of dispute will mean that the advocate has tactfully accepted the witness, what the witness said on that point during their evidence in chief. If he says that I was in the same way, and your client is saying that he was in Lahore, and if you go to cross-examination, or not, then you have done what you have accepted he was in the same way. ये नहीं हो सकता कि क्लोजिंग आर्गुमेंट्स में आप जाके कहें वो तो वहां पे था ही नहीं वो तो एक्चुअली लाहौर में था यू कैन डू दैट इट विल नॉट बी अलाउड यू हैव टू ब्रिंग इन फैक्ट बाय फैक्ट विच एवर इनकन्सिस्टेंसी देर इज एंड यू हैव टू ब्रिंग दैट इन टू क्वेश्चन इट विल ऑल्सो प्रिवेंट द एडवोकेट बींग एबल टू डील विद अ पॉइंट इन द क्लोजिंग स्पीच यू कैन सजेस्ट इन अ स्पीच दैट द विटनेस इज मिस्टेकन और लाइंग अबाउट समथिंग If you haven't asked them, but putting to them, okay, uh, that they are not telling the truth, being clear, and what they have said. So this is putting the case. Leading question: Abhi wohi wala jo hum case kar rahe the, jo proposition kar rahe the. Agar hum usme leading questions par banayenge, these are simple leading questions that I have tried to make. So usme kya hai? Leading question, we know it's a yes and no response, mostly yes and no response. So, uh, keeping the proposition in mind, let's now do this. Following the incident at your workplace, you were arrested by the police. You are taking him there to the point where he's going to say yes and no. Yes. You were taken to the police station. Yes. Whilst at the police station, you were examined by the doctor. Yes. You accept that you did not receive any medical treatment. Yes, that's correct. And that's because you were not physically injured. Yes, that's correct. Or maybe you would say, no, that's not true. But this yes, 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 this is another technique. Bring them to agree with you. Bring them uh, to points or ask them questions that they will agree, non-disputed. Police ne pakda tha? Yes. Police thaayin leke gai? Yes. Police ne medical karwaya? Ha. So, wain pe, वहां पे तुम्हें कोई ट्रीटमेंट नहीं इस्तेमाल हुई ना नहीं हुई थी उन्होंने बैंडेज दी थी या जो भी है दैट इज हाउ यू एक्चुअली गेट टू द पॉइंट ऑफ कंफ्रंटिंग एंड डिस्क्रेडिटिंग द विटनेस यू आर नॉट फिजिकली इंजर्ड एज द क्लेमेंट मिस्टर मुश्ताक नेवर असोल्टेड अगर वो कहता है यस मोस्ट ऑफ यू कहेगा यस बट बिकॉज यू वॉज दी सीरीज ऑफ क्वेश्चन जिसमें उसने कहा यस 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 आई वॉज नॉट मुझे डॉक्टर ने चेक किया कोई मेडिकल ट्रीटमेंट हुई इसका ये वाला यस इसकी सिग्निफिकेंस का कम हो जाए द जज विल नो दैट ही इज लाइन या ही इज यू नो मेकिंग थिंग्स आउट अनदर थिंग आई लाइक टू से एट दिस स्टेज इज दैट योर वॉइस जो हम अभी करेंगे वॉइस प्रोजेक्शन वॉइस एबिलिटी शुड बी सच स्पेशली अगर आप क्रिमिनल केसेस कर रहे हैं उसमें आपकी आवाज बड़ी स्ट्रॉन्ग होनी चाहिए लफ्स कहीं कहीं पे पिच हल्की सी हाई होगी विल हैव मोर इम्पैक्ट सो ये अभी ये मैंने पहले पढ़े तो वो बड़े नॉर्मल थे बाहर से आते पुलिस स्टेशन यू वर एग्जामिन बाय अगर अगर मैंने उसको इंटिमिडेट करना है जो नहीं करना चाहिए एट दिस स्टेज ऑन दिस क्वेश्चन And I say, why don't the आपको doctor ने भी check किया था इस आवाज पे तो वो वैसी that's not needed. When you come to that question, you are not physically injured by Mr. Mushtaq, were you? So there is a slight high pitch when I use the word Mr. Mushtaq, slight high. But I have given that significance to my client's case. Do you you don't dispute that you stabbed Mr. Claimant? You were you you don't dispute that you stabbed the claimant. Yeah, claimant is very power. Obviously, you have a plaintiff over. So plaintiff, you do not uh, you know dispute that. But I say no. He is obviously pakda hai. Usko arrest kiya hai. Usne admit kiya hai. Agar uska kya defence hai? Wo self defence me kiya. You don't dispute that the defendant was hospital. Sorry, the plaintiff was hospitalised for three weeks. No, I don't. 
You accept that you were not injured at, at all. Yes, I accept that. You remember making a statement to the police few hours after the incident. Yes. Is that the statement you made? Give a copy to the witness. Take this to get... Get... Ye, another thing which we do. Hamare paas agar ye list of questioning or hume ye ke humne agla sawaal puchna hai jisme humne case ji jana hai. Agla sawaal kya hai bhai? Things of ye ke there is no mention of Mr. Mushtaq in their first statement. ठीक है अगर मैं इस जल्दी में हूं कि मैंने ये सवाल पूछना है देन यू आर अगेन मिसिंग आउट दी इंटायर दी इंटायर पॉइंट ऑफ क्रॉस एग्जामिनेशन व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू नाउ डू इज आई एम गोइंग टू कंफ्रंट सो फर्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू क्रेडिट व्हाट हिज वर्जन हैव सेड जो भी उसने कहा है देन दिस इज अगेन पुटिंग योर केस की एग्जांपल आई एम टेलिंग उसको दिखा दी ये आपका बयान था जी ये आपका बयान था आप कह रहे हैं कि यहाँ पे इस स्टेटमेंट अगर आप ये देखेंगे आपने कुछ घंटे पहले दी थी इंसिडेंट के पहले वो कहेगा हाँ इट वॉज फ्रेश इन योर माइंड मोस्ट प्रोबेबली यस यू टेक हिम टू दैट स्टेटमेंट यू मेक श्योर द जज हैज इट बिफोर हिम डू दिस इज कॉल्ड an uh, eyes up and down advocacy the eyes are on the you know claimant uh, the plaintiff person in the witness box defendant whoever but your eyes should also be addressing the judge give time to the judge to go to that document sir if you could go to exhibit b1 jo bhi aapne us pe kiya wait for him to get there because you are now going to make your point so if you are just focusing on your question what's going to happen you going to miss that point of persuasion that you want the judge to see things were fresh in your mind yes of course he says there is no mention of mr mushtaq wanting to assault you or harm you in your initial statement yes i put to you that you are falsely conduct concocting a story yani ke making up a story in order to escape liability for inflicting grievous bodily harm You have put to them. You will go end where it goes. But this is how you will be bringing in your client's case mainly by asking questions. This is how you put your case. Are we clear? Any questions? Article one thirty seven. They say that leading questions must when must leading question must not be asked. क्या कहते हैं आर्टिकल 133 इफ एन एडवर्स पार्टी ऑब्जेक्ट्स लीडिंग क्वेश्चंस कैन नॉट बी आस्क इन एग्जामिनेशन इन चीफ और इन बी एग्जामिनेशन आई ब्रीफली डिस्कस दैट इज वेल आपने रेड जैकेट पहनी हुई थी ना आपने रेड जैकेट पहनी हुई थी ना आप उसी को बता रहे हैं कि आपने उसने क्या कहना वो कहा हां जी मैंने रेड पहनी थी लीडिंग वहीं पे ऑब्जेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट नहीं करोगे अपने सवाल देखोगे या किसी और पॉइंट पे होगे यू लॉस्ट योर अपॉर्चुनिटी to wo parna judge will not stop ye yaad rakhiyega this is another thing that you have to remember only the court has the power to allow the party to ask leading questions which i have said jo factually disputed nahi hai aap 1985 mein paida hue the wo nahi us pe object kar lo kyunki that's again wasting the court's time you know ke bhai disputed nahi hai uska until disputed hai ye kya article 138 Leading questions can be asked during cross-examination only. Don't make long speeches when you are putting the case. That's another thing that I like to say. Questions को बड़ा measure करके पूछना है. लंबा story कहानियाँ में आके फिर question करना is not required. Again, सबकी personal preferences होती हैं. But I think कि ये बड़ा ज़रूरी है to understand that how important the quality of your question. You know, uh, my teacher is uh, the. I think he's fantastic. He is the best criminal lawyer of this country. I think Salman Sabda. There is one thing he said to me when I was uh, becoming a lawyer. He said, "Tho, thoda karo, agar sutra karo." वो चीज मुझे all my life in my career. वो चीज उनकी वो उनकी वो एक उनका वो आवाज आती है पीछे दिमाग में वो जब वो बात करते हैं वो बिल्कुल सही है. You know. Quality over quantity, and another thing that I'll say, apni practice jo shuru karni, 
सामने आपके पास स्टेटमेंट आ गई यू नो पी डब्ल्यू वन पी डब्ल्यू टू प्लेटिव की आ गई आ गई उसके ऊपर हर फैक्ट बाय फैक्ट जहां जहां पे आपने क्वेश्चन पूछने हैं आपने उसके क्रॉस एग्जामिन के क्वेश्चन बनाओ फुल बना पूरे उसके क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन मार्क लिख लो आगे सो क्वेश्चन बनाओ 200 बनाओ 500 बनाओ मेक दो क्वेश्चन प्रैक्टिस शुरू करो पहले रीडिंग फ्रॉम द स्क्रिप्ट I want you to do that. Read from the script. Then I want you to do away with the script. The script is the questions. मेरे पास 500 की 500 questions पड़े हैं, 1000 पड़े हैं जिसके ऊपर मैंने किए. They don't encourage script reading in England and Wales. You are looked down upon if you have a, a lot of like three, four pages to take के सवालों के. Why? They, they say कि अपना शॉर्ट हैंड इस्तेमाल कर प्रैक्टिस शुरू जरूर करो उससे ये प्रैक्टिस एट होम हो सकती है दिस इज समथिंग दैट यू कुड डू इट विद अ फैमिली मेंबर उसको कहो बन जाए विटनेस मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट यू नो विटनेस बन जाए कि वो तो भाई ब्रेकिंग डाउन चीखे का जो भी है बट प्रैक्टिस दिस एंड देन यू विल रियलाइज कि आपने सिर्फ हाईलाइटिंग करनी है किस चीज की फैक्ट्स की पॉइंट ऑफ डिस्प्यूट शुरू में फैक्ट क्या है दस बजे वो कहता है वो घर से निकला था आपका क्लाइंट तो वर्जन है कि वो दस बजे नहीं निकला था वो फैक्ट सुबह छह बजे हुए फैक्ट टाइमिंग वहीं पे आपने सब इतनी अच्छी आपकी प्रैक्टिस हो जाएगी कि आप जब वो टाइम पे सिर्फ पर्टिकुलर हो गए ना उसके आपके नेचुरली आपके पास क्वेश्चन आने शुरू बिकॉज एट टाइम्स दिटनेस से समथिंग जिसको जो आप प्रिपेयर ही नहीं थे आपको पता है वो बार बार कह रहा है कि भाई ही इज हंड्रेड परसेंट श्योर देर इज नो नॉट ए केस मिस्टेक एन आइडेंटिटी उस दिन अगर आप स्क्रिप्ट को देख रहे हैं और वो कह रहा है कि हाँ मेरे ख्याल से मेरे ख्याल से वो बोल रहा है मगर आपका अगर दिमाग अगले क्वेश्चन पे है वॉट आई यू डूइंग यू मिसिंग दैट ऑपरचुनिटी टू आस्क फर्दर थ्री क्वेश्चन ऑन द फैक्ट दैट आज उसने कह दिया मेरे ख्याल से वही थे सो दैट इज वॉट इज इंपॉर्टेंट Do not make long speeches when you are putting your case. Three C's of cross examination. ये जो हमने आज किए हैं confirm. उसकी statement ये बयान है आपका हाँ जी credit. ये आपने लिखा है police के time पे किया था जी बिल्कुल fresh था आपकी memory में yes. You give credit to the reliability of what he had said. Then you attack on the inconsistency. You say. You confront him and you say that this is your inconsistency. This is called impeachment. This is impeaching the witness by showing that he is not a credible witness. Are we clear on on this? हाँ वो ही हम उस पे आ रहे हैं. Cross examine के बाद आप re-examine कर सकते हैं. अगर वो ही I'm going to get to that. We are just going to read that in fact. No, did I do? Shayad aage hai, I think. Body language, I, I think it's extremely important. Aaki body language kya hai? Ab hum, I see lovely girls here. Uh, and I hope and I want you guys to go and cross-examine. Take up your own cases. And not be with one particular uh, lawyer for the rest of your lives. Because it is so important to understand this. To have a grasp of this and then move on. Intimidation, जो है tactic. एक तो intimidation आती है. You know, I'll take these two minutes to basically deal with women when they are cross-examining. You enter. The other side will automatically say, "Oh, ये ये क्या cross-examining करे? क्या इसको पता है?" The other thing that comes in is the witness, which I think is good actually. The witness takes you to ये क्या cross examine करें that I think is there intimidation है कि वहाँ पे दस लड़के खड़े हैं दूसरी side पे और आप अकेली औरत हैं और आपने करना है forget about that don't be bothered about that that thing that hi मैं औरत हूँ और मैं आके cross examine करूँगी या plead कर रही हूँ case you need to get over this gender thing you're there to represent your client the judge is least bothered whether you are speaking or you know he is speaking or you are speaking your only aim should be speak on behalf of your client speak in the best of your abilities all of you as well 
ए, आप लोगों का क्या है सीनियर वकील आके खड़ा होगा वो जी उसके दस वो जी पहली चीज हम देखते हैं कि जी दूसरी पार्टी का वकील कौन है स्टॉप डूइंग दैट इफ यू नो योर लॉ इफ यू नो योर फायर देर इज नो बडी हु कैन टेक अवे योर केस फ्रॉम यू एंड दिस इज हाउ यू गोइंग टू बिल्ड अप इन टू बिकमिंग वन ऑफ द बेस्ट लॉयर्स इन शॉर्ट body language is extremely important speak up and stand up straight slouch nahi karna reason why i was talking about intimidation the moment you see ko wo kisi bahut bade judge ka beta hai ya bade judge ki law firm se dusri party aayi hai wo ji shoulder slouch ho jayega theek hai aapka bhi the 10 boys uh, on the other side 10 councils udhar you, no, you know expression shakal pe nazar aa jati hai ki acha main kaise karu that if you do it mat mat kar You see, you can't do cross examination if you are intimidated, and if your body language is saying something else. फिर कितने भी अच्छे आपके leading questions हों, you will not be able to persuade or get your things as you want. Hear your words. That's why I say practice is extremely important. This is why I think what uh, Sir Zishan and uh, these guys are doing is extremely important. Practice, understand, see, hear your voice. make that your uh, you know a norm now comprehend your words come away okay it should be quality words coming out attach the correct interpretation to them do not mutter awaaz clear or do not like jaldi mat boliye nahi itna slow bole ki dusra banda bore ho jaye it has to be the perfect space a uh, pace where everybody is interested in what you say do not look at the floor do not speak at a pace acha ye maine kar liya do look at the witness take care of your pronunciation reasonable pace appropriate variation in tones and pauses now i am giving variation in my tone when i am speaking so i want you to pick that up so i am going a bit low low pitch and then i'll go high when i have to make a point this is what you have to do all of you i think it's extremely extremely what which they don't teach us you know in law school so this is why i i am teaching you this now so apni awaaz pe aur apni body language pe you have to have full confidence fillers ab is pe hamare marks karte the um 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 you see when agar aap uh, tv pe bhi dekhenge agar interview pe jaate hain agar aapko ya waise koi speech de raha ho ya baat kar raha ho um um hai baat karte hue that is wrong you can't you do that they fail you in advocacy exams completely they will aapne um kar liya and this is happened to us aapke test uh, 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 sorry they will aapne jo baat karni hai dimag mein pehle soch ke fir bol warna mat bol so these um and uh they increase uh, dramatically when you are anxious when you are not prepared and when you are intimidated that is something that would happen keep a check on it try to eliminate these fillers if you can they become very distracting to the listener eyes up eyes down advocacy i've explained that to you your eyes should not be just focused on the questions aapke jo bhi documents aap de rahe hain jo exhibit jo ho rahe hain jo bhi hai make sure the other counsel also is aware of it make sure the judge is on that page that you want him to read and you read it make sure he is read it pause जज पेपर देख रहे हैं बॉस स्टॉप योर क्रॉस एग्जामिनेशन वेट फॉर हिम टू रीड इट देन यू गो एंड आस्क द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कुछ नहीं होगा अगर आपका ये बॉस हां अगर ये है कि मैंने इससे अगला सवाल पूछना है एंड यू आर नॉट इवन कोट आपके जज साहब ऐसे डॉक्यूमेंट ढूंढ रहे हैं देन दैट्स बैड एडवोकेसी दैट्स द रॉन्ग वे ऑफ डूइंग एग्जामिनेशन चीफ और क्रॉस अम golden rule is to wait for the judge to find the document don't be clued to the question list i've done this it is excessive body movement fidgeting pen haath mein rakha hua pen ke sath aise kar rahe rocking backward baat karte hue we do that you see we need to stop doing that making continuous hand gestures head nodding and facial movements this is your cross examination i hope i was able to give some insight on what uh cross examination is and now we uh zishan shall we start with the uh,
Breaks are good. I get to now.